I forgot I had this piece of copper wire that, or the copper tubing that I was using prior to getting the 50 foot coil. This is only about 15 feet, but I think that if I put it inside the stove box here and um, have a good fire going inside here, just keeping it, keep it enclosed, I think it'll make it warm up pretty fast. And even though it won't be nearly as much, you know, as much feet as that, as with the water really coming through there, I just, you know, I, with the stage one fire ban, I can't run that right now. And so if I put something inside here, I can, and I want to test it out just to see how much we'll need in there in order for it to be effective because the water pump that I have does 550 gallons an hour. So you think that's what, like six gallons a minute? And coursing through here, that's a lot of uh, water through this tiny little tube. So um, this is only 3 8 inch, and um, if I had like half inch or something like that, it'd be way better. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and continue coiling this around that here, and then I can stuff it inside here. And I think what I'll do is I'll probably have on one side here, I'll probably have just like the in and the out. Have like in go there, out up top. That way I can take advantage of the heat coming out of the, the exit here on the on the, on the firebox. Then I think we'll be in good shape. So uh, I'm gonna gingerly do this. You're supposed to do this with sand, with the copper tubing, because you can potentially um, let's see here. You can uh, potentially uh, bend it, and you can crimp it. And if you crimp it, you're screwed. So you don't want to do that, but I think I'm in good shape. If I do it like this, I'll just keep it real tight. And... All right. So there's my coil right there. And then I'll have this be the out, and this be the in. And, uh, let's see. Uh, I could really, I could easily make that longer. Perfect. Let's do that. That looks good. No crimps in it. In good shape. So I'll go right in the firebox there. All right. So I got my Dort goggles on. I'm good to go. Um, there's going to be an in entry point port over here, exit port over here on the, on the firebox, and we'll be good to go. And then we're just going to patch it up with JB Weld with that. Uh, get some high temperature rating JB Weld. So, thinking like right about here is good. Let me go grab my tool. <laughs> Just out of juice, so that was perfect. For those who aren't familiar, this is called JB Watt. It's just um, it's just a type of like, I don't know, it's like this two things you mix together and it turns into steel. I don't know how it works. 
And um, anyway, so this is the extreme heat one, so you can have this. I tested it out here on the top where I um, punched, punctured a hole in the top of this, and it worked well over the season. All right, stove's working great. Uh, this project turned out really well. It was pretty simple to do. It just took a little bit of, you know, figuring out in my head how to get that coil inside the firebox. But it's working great, and this is a great workaround for the fire band that I have right now. What you got, sweetie? Oh, you want to go outside and go in a room? Two do one. I think she's like, no, I don't want to go outside and run around. I want to stay in the air conditioning. So, <laughs> fine, that was me, girl. Love you too. So, anyway, this is fun doing this, and I. It's great. I can actually cook breakfast on there in the morning if I want to do like a morning soak or an evening soak. I can cook dinner on there over the wood stove and then uh, you know knock out the hot hot water at the same time. So but don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'm going to be doing a bunch more videos here around the ranch because I'm going to stay here through the monsoon season. So I'll be around here for probably you know off and on. I'll be coming coming and going from the ranch for the next couple months. And I uh, definitely want to show you all what I've been up to around here because I've been doing a lot more stuff around the place. I just haven't shown enough film. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you got any questions, just hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.